Hi, this is Crystal from Ardenia Fine Minerals, and this is an intriguing plumbogummite and pyromorphite specimen from the Yangzhou mine of China. Plumbogummite gets its name from the Latin word plumbum, meaning lead, and gummy, meaning gum. This is a reference to its lead content, as well as its sometimes gum-like appearance. It's a secondary aluminum phosphate mineral that forms in the oxidation zones of lead deposits and it can exhibit a range of colors and crystallize in the trigonal crystal system. It's typically found in crusts or masses, but it can also form in betroidal, which is rounded like grapes, or reniform, which means kidney-shaped, or stalactitic structures. Pyromorphite is a secondary lead mineral that forms in the oxidized zones of lead deposits. It's typically in a hexagonal crystallization that tapers towards its termination, so it can uh, resemble a wooden barrel. And the coloring can range from yellow to orange and green. The Yangshao mine produced these really intriguing examples of plumbogummite after pyromorphite, and this is a great example. It's incredibly sizable and has dozens of compact and hexagonal crystals, and they get their basic shape from the pyromorphite crystals that are underneath this form. So the first generation was pyromorphite, and you can see that in these electric yellow crystals that are peeking out from underneath, and they were coated in the plumbogummite, which softens the edges. It makes a lot of the shortest crystals have an almost betroidal look. It adds a really attractive gradation of color. The largest crystals have a darker kind of green-brown coloring, and they're set against this sea of teal crystals. And together with the um, outer layer of plumbogummite and the number of smaller crystals, there's a lot of movement in this piece. There's so much texture. It is really interesting to look at. I don't know if you can tell, but in a lot of those smaller crystals, that outer layer has a translucence to it. Um, it's something that, you know, you might call ugly beautiful. It's just so interesting looking that you want to keep looking at it. Um, and geologically speaking, it's just so interesting. And of course, you get the great contrast against these yellow crystals of pyromorphite that's that are peeking out. So it's a, a really interesting piece with a lot of complexity, both geologically and visually. It also looks like there's a lot of movement. It has an almost organic look to it. So it's a really interesting piece. Uh, I'm glad that I got to share it with you. I hope you've enjoyed taking a look at it with me. Thanks so much for watching. If you have any questions, please feel free and send us a DM. I hope you have a great day.